It's time for our next patient. Oh, here it comes. Now, I want you guys to tell me as many causes as you can for a neck lump starting now. I knew he was going to ask that. Um, goiter, lymphoma. Okay, again, you're struggling because you don't have a system. I'm going to totally change that for you, but first, let's test your medical knowledge. In the comments, I want you to tell me what you think this diagnosis is. There are many different causes for neck lumps, and remember that the neck is split into the anterior triangle and the posterior triangle. In both of these locations, there's lots of different tissue types which can develop into a neck mass. But here's a way that will help you to remember them when you're put on the spot. Firstly, remember Nick, which is the Australian word for neck. That's neoplastic, inflammatory, and congenital. Secondly, you need to differentiate, is this a midline mass or a lateral mass? Put those two together and we've got a pretty good matrix to recall more differentials for neck masses. Firstly, neoplastic. In the midline, we're thinking of overgrowth of the thyroid or parathyroid glands. But laterally is where most tumors of the neck sit. Think of lymphomas, carotid body tumors, for example. Next is infection and inflammation. Here we're mainly thinking lymphadenopathy and throat infection. Quite limited in midline structures, and most of them exist laterally. And next is congenital causes. In the midline, you can think of cysts with a thyroglossal duct. That one tends to move on tongue protrusion. And more lateral structures in the anterior triangle of the neck, you can think of branchial cleft sinus cysts. And in the posterior triangle, you can think of cystic hygromas. Now, before you go off to your other teaching, let me know in the comments below what you think this diagnosis is, and I'm going to drop the answer there very soon.